Hey guys, my name is Snurpadash, and today I am here to talk to you about the new fun gun game, Conan Exiles. Let's get straight into it. So what is Conan Exiles? It is an open world survival game in the brutal lands of Conan the Barbarian. You are in exile, one of thousands cast out to fend for themselves in a barbaric wasteland swept by terrible sandstorms and besieged on every side by enemies. Here you must fight to survive, build, and dominate. Your main goal is basically survival. It will tell your enemies your environment. This is a lie. Unless you wander off into the desert somewhere, your enemy is definitely the AI in this game. There are about a dozen or so mobs between you and the river that can overpower you. The main river is your lifeline. Not only is the river your main water source, but you will also find many different fauna living around this area that you can kill and then eat to survive. You should be able to find the river fairly easily as long as you go straight down the path and then avoid the massive hell beast right in your way. Starts you off with your main character and in custom character customization your character is crucified. You choose between male or female. You can choose your race, ethnicity, haircut, there are a few special haircuts as exhibited here. This guy looks like he just told his mom not to come into his room ever again. And the customization that has gotten the most conversation started around it right now is uh, the endowment option. Whether that is your female endowment or your male endowment. Female just being chest size, male endowment being surprisingly breast size and uh, well, let's just censor that, right? Yeah, big censor block. <laughs> this is a little, little bit too much. You start off with a cutscene with vaguely disheartening quotes, and then some dude who just wants to see a, a Lord of the Flies recreation sets you loose without any idea of what to do next other than survive. I'm pretty sure he let all the exiles loose before you just to make sure that you guys fight and kill each other. <laughs> And that he enjoys it. In the crafting system, the learning system, like all your points and everything, you have seen that UI before. It is almost identical to ARC. Kind of disappointing that it is so incredibly unoriginal. Battle music. So when an enemy sees you, music will start playing. Sometimes. If you're on an online server, it probably won't. If you are playing a solo game, It'll start up, but you might not see that enemy at first. In fact, usually it has to be right in your face or starts hitting you before you actually know where it's coming from. Human AI can be a little OP at first. I would not suggest trying to lure more than one human away from a campfire at a time because they will slaughter you. When you die in this game, the creatures keep hitting you until your arms fall off, essentially, and you are on just looking at your body for a good 10 seconds while it's just wailing on you continuously until it lets you respawn again. There's no respawn countdown at all, it just spawns you after several seconds. Probably the most important skill to learn is how the ability to make a campfire right after the ability to make an axe. You need the campfire. Unless you want to try to survive off the bugs that you find in the plants, you need to be able to cook your food, otherwise you will die from food poisoning rather quickly. There's a disproportionate amount of supplies needed for basic things. Most of the time this wouldn't bother me, but when you need 50 branches and 30 stone to make a tiny, tiny campfire, this tiny, tiny campfire, and then in comparison you need 50 stone and 10 wood or something like that to make a foundation. It's like, where did all that stone go? That campfire is the size of my face. I'm confused as to why I need to gather this much. Another important point, make a bedroll and then interact with it in order to set that as your spawn point. You can make multiple bedrolls, but you have to interact with it. And once you interact with it, it updates as your most recent spawn point. I believe it only acts as a spawn point one time and then you have to make another one. For online play, I cannot tell you how many times I've seen this message right here. Servers are currently too unstable to really get an adequate reading on how well this plays online, like with other people. I was on the official server for PvE, player versus environment, and while there was only a couple people online with me, because it was 5 o'clock in the morning, I kept getting disconnected. Every single time somebody builds something on a server, thanks to the most recent update, 
you get a disconnect. So my overall judgments, the positives, nice learning curve, feels familiar, very pretty. You're not required to play online with strangers, it's just definitely something that I wish Ark would do. Rust, not so much because it feels like there wouldn't be much of a game without other people, but Ark, I think you could actually get by and play as just a single player survival, no problem if they just made some adjustments. There's good design and user interface choices overall. There's no clashing designs and everything kind of fits and meshes together in the overall feel of the game. My negatives? Loading times. It can take up to four to seven minutes <laughs> to load a game, even if it's just a single player game. Not an online game where you're loading up to a server, but your own computer. That shouldn't happen. Even in beta, that's very, very frustrating and n not at all fun. It feels too familiar in some ways, especially with the crafting system, how you learn recipes. It feels so like Ark. It kind of makes me wish that they could have done something more original and creative interface-wise to demonstrate that you're learning different skills. And my last negative, I guess, is laggy official servers. I can understand if somebody else's servers are laggy, but if you're a gaming company that makes enough money to provide stable servers for your players, go ahead and spend it. Spend your money on that because it's frustrating to not have stable servers as the official host. It's super frustrating. All I'm trying to do is see what it plays like online, but when I can barely even load into the game before getting disconnected, it makes me feel like it's not worth it. Currently this game is still in beta and in early access, so it's understandable that there are going to be some things wrong with it. However, at the current price and with how much is released so far, I wouldn't jump the gun and buy it just yet. I can't in any confidence recommend getting it until they fix the issues with the servers, with the programming, with it disconnecting every time somebody builds something in the world. These things make it difficult to enjoy. As a single player game, it's fairly fun, but not a game that I would spend tons and tons of hours playing. Again, this is just my initial review. I've only played about four or five hours of it so far, so not long enough to get into late game stages or anything like that. Feel free to give any feedback you like. If you've seen some other positives or negatives while you've played the game so far, leave those down in the comments below so that people can see that and know others' opinions on it. It's always good to have civil discourse and updates and understandings and so that we can all have a better knowledge of the game that we are interested in overall. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Snurpadash, and I'll see you when I see you. Snurp out.